it's a totally different perspective than somebody that's watching the Weather Channel and seeing the trees blown down and stuff. What they see is damage and they see is bad things. When I see a hurricane, the first thing I think of is we're getting waves, I'm getting barreled. Summertime gets super hot, crowded. The wintertime is absolutely freezing, so the fall is my favorite time of year on the East Coast. The leaves changing, hurricanes or nor'easters, beautiful weather, really good waves. Like March till August was flat. In New York, Northeast, East Coast didn't have any waves this summer. Finally, now hurricane season comes around and it's starting to produce. If it's flat for a while, you don't see certain people, but when there's waves, you see everyone. Everyone kind of comes out of the woodwork and everyone's surfing together, talking together on the boardwalk. So that's cool, everyone comes together. With any hurricane, it's so hard to forecast. They change every few hours. The track, the speed of them, the, the strength of them, it always is changing. So it's really hard to pinpoint what's gonna be the best spot with the best waves. You're gonna be driving. You're gonna be checking somewhere. You're gonna be trying to get reports from everybody. And it's always a gamble, but that's kind of what makes it exciting too. It's just a constant chase, but it definitely pays off when it pays off. It's all worth it. There's something about the East Coast that brings me back. A big part of the reason that, it, that it's so addicting and so awesome to come home is that it's home. Like it's something that you don't really have in anywhere else. I travel enough to where I don't really need to live anywhere else. I just really like being home more than anything. So being able to come home to this, all my friends that are still here, everyone surfing together when the waves are good, that's something I don't really want to ever lose or leave.